that's what we're talking about. You want the heaters? That's the heaters. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some real homemade beef fajitas just like you get in a Mexican restaurant. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you folks how to do. How to marinate the beef, how to cook it, and prepare it so that you can make fajitas for your family and for, for your guests that taste better than any Mexican restaurant you've ever had them in. So let me show you how the ball chef does it. All right. This, my friends, is some uh, beautiful uh, flank steak, which is nicely marbled. Um, we're going to start out with just putting a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil on there. And uh, for mine, I just like to season this up with some pretty simplistic seasoning mix. A little bit of uh, garlic, black pepper. I use the uh, adobo brand by, by Goya. It's a Latin spice mix. It's got a little bit of the uh, different flavors from Latin America. And then I put a little bit of cumin on this. And uh, I'll flip this over and let this sit out. I will uh, put this into the fridge after I've flipped it over for about two hours and uh, we'll be ready to start uh, grilling this uh, the heat off. All right, we've had this blank steak, the heat of meat, ready to get thrown under the grill here, marinating for a couple hours here, looking pretty good. Now we'll put a little bit of uh, sea salt on here. Just salt this off right while you put it on the grill. Not too much, maybe uh, on this pound and a half piece of fajita, like steak, about a teaspoon and a half. And as you notice over there, we have chopped up our veggies. We've got some red and green bell pepper along with some onion that we're going to be frying up here. But let's take our fajita and get it out on the grill. All right. Is that right up there on the grill? We'll come back here for the flip and uh, we're going to have some fajitas here in a minute little uh, trick that I learned from old T-Roy, take your flour tortillas, you wrap them up in aluminum foil, put them up on your uh, top shelf here, and this will warm these bad boys up. Go ahead and we can flip this uh, over and we'll be back. Take and put in a little bit of uh, vegetable oil to fry off our peppers and onions. I just use regular vegetable oil for this would be fine. I think the olive oil would give it a little bit of an unusual taste. Got onions in there. Of course there are peppers. I'm going to want to season this up a little bit here. I've got some red and green peppers. Give it a little bit of color. A little pizzazz. And we'll season this with just a piece of uh, salt and uh, a little bit of cumin, just a smidge. Nothing too crazy on the cumin there. And then I like to use this Mesa Rosa Chipotle spice. Gives it a nice little kick. So we'll uh, stir fry off these veggies and uh, when these get sweated off here, we'll come back and take a look at them. All right, well, we pulled our fajita off the grill. We've had it rest in here for about uh, five minutes. Shave off a little piece of this off the cross cut there. It's medium rare. Mm, very, very good. But we've got some more to go here. We're going to slice this up and I'll show you how to finish this Mexican fajita dish off. Well, these uh, veggies are nice and sweated off. We've got our uh, fajita meat sliced off thin here. The trick to this, folks, is you don't want to overcook your fajita meat, no matter what. It will absolutely ruin it. If you want to overcook it, make chicken fajitas. And that's the truth. I want to stir fry the uh, 
veggies and the meat together. Put some of the uh, seasonings infused. We'll come back here. We're gonna plate this one back up. Okay, we got the setup here. We've got our warmed up flour tortillas. We've got some avocado sliced off beautifully. A little bit of our fresh tomatillo, salsa verde, sour cream, avocado, and of course the piece de resistance, the classic restaurant style fajitas. So let's put one of these together. We'll assemble one of these and uh, see how it tastes. But before I uh, assemble this tortilla, I'd like to give a special shout out to uh, some of my new followers that are really trying to help me uh, with my with my channel and I'd like to give them a little bit of a uh, little juice maybe take a look at what they're doing uh, I'd like to say it's something a little special there for Chris over at M1 Shadow Brenda at Nature's Ferry Ray Max Kitchen and Grill Rod I just like to cook Russ at Smokes a Grillin and Holio 1946 for all he's done for me and of course the standard Jersey Joe Kelly Mr. Rock on Fred beautiful fit Angie and down under and many many more so let's get started on this recipe I just wanted to thank all the people out there that supported my channel sub me up I got lots of good recipes and uh, these folks have got some stuff going on that you want to take a look at. So I'm ready to dig in here and put one of these together. All right, so we got a little bit of uh, the peppers and the meat in there. Put a little bit of the uh, sour cream in there. Got some avocado. Just put a smidge of the, uh, the lime juice in here. And of course, homemade salsa verde. Let's give a little bite to this and see how it tastes. Straight shooting folks. Those are some mighty good fajitas. Give this recipe a try. I will not steer you wrong I assure you. Like I said, sub up Give me a like if you like what you see. If you don't, tell me why. Uh, and as always, bon appetit.